I think what has kept me interested in puppetry is the tension that a puppet object holds. It's both unhuman in its strangeness, but very human-like when it begins to move. And so we recognize something of ourselves in a puppet. That kind of seduction is really interesting to me. This past year, I've bridged my training in printmaking with um, my more recent interest in puppetry and performance and especially video. So kind of merging those different media into um, a new body of work. There's this character that I, I just refer to as the protagonist um, and her, some of her likeness is behind me in, in paper mache costume. So I perform as her in a series of videos and I'm thinking about more broadly in all of this work, um, ideas around the shame and embarrassment and pleasure of aging in a body, um, specifically a femme body. And I think of the, the costume as kind of a, both a confessional performance space and um, a protective shield. So I feel both very vulnerable and um, overexposed and maybe like oversharing in that kind of performance space, but also hidden. And, and like I can enact certain ideas that I'm much too uncomfortable to, to sort of articulate in my, in my real life. The teaching component of the Grantwood Fellowship um, has been really rewarding to me. I, I enjoyed working with graduate students, especially in the, um, in the School of Art and Art History. In terms of my studio work, this year has opened up the possibility of collaboration. I met uh, a number of filmmakers in Iowa City. I was able to work with them in um, filming this new iteration of the most recent video of this protagonist um, where she's in a motel room and uh, you know sort of awkwardly waiting for an encounter from this kind of specific desolate um, isolating place. Being able to collaborate with other artists who have a skill that's outside of my own has really expanded the scope of this work and I think it's given um, validation to these ideas where someone who is behind the camera who isn't as emotionally attached can offer so many so many different ideas that I wouldn't come to on my own. I, I think that idea of shared authorship is uh, something I hadn't really considered before coming to the University of Iowa and I think Iowa City is specific in its concentration of creative people. I found a really uh, distinct community of creative people that want to make things together. And that has been the most rewarding part of um, being at the University of Iowa.